All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the island. I'm happy you tuned in and thank you so much for coming to tonight's episode. I am just back from DreamHack. I've been I've been gone for, what is it, seven days. Um, and uh, I missed Minecraft so much and I missed our island uh, so much. Or I missed actually both my, both my modded series and this series. Um, when I say series, I mean Minecraft World. Speaking about World, please, as Cal, remember to put a World download in the description. I know a lot of people have been asking for it. If I remember, it will be in the description, okay? Otherwise, we, we do it next time, but hopefully I remember. Um, I want to thank you guys so much for the love and support and the comments on the last video. Uh, we're building this jungle behind Tortuga here. Look at this place. Mm, it's gorgeous. It's a beaut. It is truly a beaut. And I do apologize for people getting offended by me switching to some sort of very bad impersonation of, of British every now and then. I don't know why I do it. It's just a thing that happens. Uh, <laughs> no, but the comments in the last video was great. You guys really uh, liked the jungle and there were some good suggestions that I was thinking we should do today. I think it's going to be a pretty relaxed episode. Um... I want to get back into the swing of how you do YouTube videos. Um, I recorded a little bit of Survival Stories uh, 3 that went out, uh, or that's going out today. This video is going up tomorrow my time. Um, and I recorded a little bit of that, and I felt like, how how do you do this now again? You know, it's weird. Um, anyway... We'll see, we'll see how things goes here, I guess. One of the things that you guys said about this jungle that we definitely should do is add uh, logs like fallen trees and things. Um, there was actually a lot of suggestions about making it even more overgrown looking than it is now. Um, and one other thing that I got super excited about reading was that someone said, instead of using coarse dirt, do you remember how we talked about using coarse dirt in spots like this? Uh, instead of using that, try using some Podzol. And then a reply to that comment was, what about mixing coarse dirt and Podzol? And I think that's going to look fantastic. Podzol has a good uh, thing going on about it. And that is that Podzol does not uh, disappear if you place anything above it. So if I would play, it's like grass, like this block here. If I place leaves on top of it or even a stone on top of it, as opposed to grass... Um, it would it would not disappear like it would still be puzzle underneath which makes it so that we can make uh, Some gorgeous things Using puzzle. Wow. I just lost my breath there The only problem with it is that we don't have any we have to go out and we have to find a, a mega taiga um, I think they're called mega taiga and like honestly in vanilla minecraft I've only ever found two of those so it's probably gonna be a little bit tough um, But we we surely need it. So yeah, um, what else? Logs, podsol. No, I think that was about, like, yeah, there was some talks about the waterfall not being straight enough. I tried fixing it, like, I really tried doing some stuff here, but I don't know how to change the water flow, so maybe you have some more advices on that. But I do agree, this looks a little bit weird. I was thinking we could go over and we can kind of uh, come in with a little bit of this stuff here. I don't want it to f flow this way. It looks weird. Um... Maybe if we do something like this, maybe that will help it out. I, mm, mm, I don't want to change too much of the mountain. I think the mountain looks really good. Boop. Showed this mountain, by the way, for uh, a real-life friend of mine, my, one of my best friends. He doesn't play Minecraft, but he was actually the guy that introduced me to Minecraft one uh, in 2010 or 2009, can't remember. Um, and I showed this mountain to him, and I showed the island, and I was really, like, proud, and look at this. And he knows that I do YouTube videos, but, like, he doesn't follow it or anything, obviously, because he isn't interested in Minecraft. Uh, but he saw the mountain, and he was like, you did not build that. You did not build that. And then I could show him the video, and I said, yep, I did. Uh, <laughs> just a, this, this was actually a while ago, but just a little thought that just crossed my mind. Um, what was I saying? Waterfall. Yeah, I don't know. I don't want to look at it from this side because it looks weird. I agree with you guys. Oh, there's a copy. Get rid of you. Um, I'll work on it. I'll work on it. I did add a palm tree that I was really happy with. Let me show you that. It's over here. 
Uh, kind of a low one hanging out over the little river that we made. I don't like that very much. I think that looks good. Maybe we add some vines here. Okay. <clears throat> I want to make a pathway uh, today. Like, instead of uh, continuing with the jungle too, too much, I want to make a pathway that leads from the skull base. It's gorgeous. Uh, to Tortuga. And I think it's going to be... I don't know if we want an official path. And this will be an official path with, like, the... Uh, the wood, or if we just want like a stomped path um, out of dirt and, and things like that. I'm not really sure. The official path leads currently up to this mountain, and that's pretty much it. So I guess if we'd use an official path, we'd probably have it come over here, but then it would be weird with this. Um, the main thing that I feel is missing here, and that the whole reason why I want to make a pathway is because I want a bridge. I really want a bridge over this, but now that I look at it, <clears throat> look at this, it's going to be hard to place this. Maybe over here. Oh yeah, by the way, thank you so much. There was like five comments um, that were dedicated to thanking me for, for the use of cyan clay here next to the water. You guys thought that was a really good idea, so thank you. I like it. It's a, it's a, it's a nice change of the standards, um, and I do really like it. Maybe we try and make... A bridge over here? Or is that weird? Like the natural position position for a bridge would probably be over here. But then we have to take away this beautiful rock. Mm. Cannot decide. <laughs> Why didn't I think about this beforehand? And also what kind of path do we want? Or actually, do we want to skip going through the jungle and maybe we go... Across. Maybe we want to go across this mountain. Just like this leads up here. Well, that would be too steep. No, you know what? Let's try and make a path that looks natural, okay? Let's try and make a, a natural coarse dirt. Just like a stomped up path way going through. And I'm just going to call right over here good for now and we'll see if we can work it out is that gonna mess with it's gonna mess with one rock one little bush thing um <laughs> geez i cannot decide i don't want to i really don't want to take down any trees because uh we, we're once again out of saplings and it takes such a long time to collect them okay we're gonna make the path right here yeah, this is a good spot. And I realized that like if there's a if there's a tree in the way, um, we'll simply we'll simply have to go around it because that's what you would do in real life, right? You know, you wouldn't you wouldn't take the tree down um, a huge a huge tree. Let me change that for that. So while we do this, let me talk to you a little bit about DreamHack. DreamHack is one of the world's biggest uh, gaming events. I don't know if it's if it's the biggest. Um, but like DreamHack does a lot of things, and wow, that is straight. DreamHack does a lot of things um, with esports, so it's not just a gaming fair, but like they do uh, esport hosting, they have a TV studio and things. But twice a year in Sweden, they host a big LAN party. You guys know what a LAN is, right? You get together with some friends, uh, you put the computers next to each other, and then you just game and you have fun and you enjoy. Um, DreamHack does that with 10,000 LAN seats, so it's pretty crazy. Um, let's see, we want to use spruce for this, we need to get spruce, we also need to sleep. Um, yeah, pretty crazy, so 10,000 people, 10,000 kids or adults, or uh, I mean a mixture, bring their computers to DreamHack and then they sit down and game. Uh, and on top of this, if you don't want a game, there's a huge expo area where uh, where companies like Acer that I work for um, and other companies, they put out like stands with events and stuff in them. Um, and this is what I was doing. So I was managing, if you will, the, the, the Acer stand. Um, and I mean, it was awesome, but it was also very tiring. Like I stood on my feet for... I don't know, maybe four days straight during my during my awake time, I just stood and walked around. 
uh, didn't sit much at all. So my feet are like, they're, they're destroyed. Uh, I also casted some, some Counter-Strike games. Uh, I was like a pro commentator. I was like, oh, they're coming up on the long and now we'll see. Yeah, uh, it was better on the scene. You should have seen it. Uh, <laughs> it was better at the, at the site. Um, and I did that. And then, on top of all this, I also met up with Rendog, as many of you know. And we actually held... Mm, that's wrong. Let's do it here instead. We actually held a, a stream where we streamed from DreamHack. So Rendog had this streaming booth thing uh, where he could sit and stream. Is this really going to be a nice looking bridge? Uh, no, that feels bad. I like to always bring them up one more above the water, actually, so that you get that nice little gap. So let's do that. Let's begin with it here instead. Oops. Uh, yeah, he had his own little streaming booth. And he invited me for the last day, or the last night, he was like, Iskal, we gotta do some Renskal stuff. Uh, and I didn't have any gaming computer there or anything, uh, but he did. So what we did was that we played on his um, Rendog server, which is like a minigame server. You gotta check it out if you, <coughs> if you haven't already. It's free to play, um, and he has done an amazing job. Like, basically, you play in a single-player world, but you can play, like, UHC, you can play parkour... Uh, regular survival Minecraft, stuff like that. It's, it's really, really cool. Uh, so we did that for like, I don't know, three and a half hours. Um, and it was pretty sick. Like, a lot of people. I think we had 150 viewers. We did this on his uh, Twitch channel, by the way. Um, 150 people were were on the stream looking at us. And uh, yeah, it was weird. And, and to those, I, I got some comments of saying that I sounded extremely tired. I was extremely tired, okay? Uh, don't hate me. I, I'd been awake for so long. Uh, maybe we do a little bit of terrain alteration here. What I like to do, by the way, is, is use spruce. Uh, not necessarily for them looking as uh, as as uh, wood, but they are just the half slabs of dirt in this case over here It's it's really it's really supposed to be wood though. I feel so rusty when it comes to Minecraft designing. It's been a while um, So yeah, we, we did that and it was just uh, it's just amazing. It was really fun But I was super tired when we did the stream because I had at the time been working for for four days straight and uh, no Minecraft. I was happy to play some Minecraft though. We played a UHC each and I played second in the UHC. I got killed in the deathmatch thing. Um, and Rendog, he died first. Yep. He, he um, <coughs> he's pretty bad at UHC. Okay. <laughs> Nothing wrong with it, but, but it wasn't, you know, he, he died first. So can't, can't defend that. Okay. So let's consider having the road like that. I think that's good. And then let's just bring it out here. And another thing I've learned with roads, if we speak about roads for a second, is it's always very beneficial to bend them a little bit because it helps you when you place the textures and when you look at the road. Uh, so we get a nat natural bend here, which is great. Oops, that's regular dirt. Do I have any more? I do. Um, yeah, so that was one amazing happening. The other amazing thing, I met Doc M and I hung out with him and we had some beers and, and stuff on the first night. Um, and this guy is, I mean, I've been watching Doc M for years. Um, and now I know that he is so genuine. He, has, he is as genuine as he feels. Like, he really, he really loves this game. Um, and he really, like really loves doing the whole YouTube thing. So it was great getting to know him a little bit. I hope that we get to meet in the future as well. Um, and then I met some other huge streamers and YouTubers like Sparkles, not Captain Sparkles. There's another guy called Sparkles who does uh, YouTube stuff. He has like 500,000 views per video, which is just crazy. Holy cow. A half a million people watching him. Um, but I met him. We had we had some drinks as well. And then I, uh, I, got, to I got to know... Uh, Zonda, who uh, is a huge, like, gaming streamer thing guy, uh, an absolutely amazing person, um, and I got to know him as well, and this is what's cool with these conventions and things, that you get to meet so many of the people that you've watched in the past, uh, I also got to sign, like, three autographs, so that was a little bit crazy, but, you know, I'll do, uh, I'll take it, I, I thought it was fun, uh, I had to practice the Iskal, Iskal 85 thing, 
uh, you know, it's weird. You write, you've written your name the entire your entire life, and then all of a sudden you have to write like your your nickname that you came up with in your in your boys' room when you were like twelve. But uh, <laughs> it was cool. It was cool. I liked it. Uh, maybe we consider having the road going this way. Yeah, I think that's good. And by the way, we need to we need to fix up this road because it's just coarse dirt at the moment. I want to mix in some other stuff. Um, this sand looks awkward. Someone also said that we should use gravel in spots. I don't think I like that very much, but someone said like in the middle of the jungle put a gravel block. I've been using it for the stones or for the rocks, but I don't know if it would work very well having it like um, in the middle of jungle because it's such a in the middle of the jungle I should say it's such a different uh, color like it's very very gray um, But please do explain and evaluate ev ev evaluate no uh, no <laughs> Please explain how you meant and what you wanted to see we'll see if we can do it Because uh, maybe I didn't understand what you what you meant uh, for the road though, I want to mix in some jungle planks. This is something that I used to do as well with the with the coarse dirt. I think it looks great together. Um, this road kind of reminds me of the survival stories. No, sorry, not survival stories. Of the amplified vanilla world that we had. And you know what? You know what I just realized? Let's remove these. Yeah, let's do this. Let's get rid of you. And we'll go with jungle here instead. It makes more sense. That way the <clears throat> the spruce is the actual wood and the jungle is just a mixture of the um of the of the coarse dirt. Or maybe there was jungle here once. I don't know. Okay. Boop boop. Alright, and then dude. I also got to meet on, on Dreamhack. I also met uh, Jinx again. Uh the Jinx. Many of you won't know this guy because he does YouTube in Swedish, but he is an amazing person. Uh, a lot of a lot of love for for you the jinx and thank you so much for hanging out again um, He does YouTube. He has his own channel that is like triple the size or double the size of my channel uh, He's really good as well, but he does it in Swedish. So if you're Swedish go head ha head 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 to the jinx He's in my uh, featured channel list to the right of this video um, And check him out. He's a really nice guy. He, he always like He's very happy to meet me and things I've seen. I met him before on DreamHack, so. Um, let's make some, I want to try and make like some lamp post or something that, that we can, uh, is it this way? Yes. Uh, I want to have some kind of uh, light going on in the jungle. I spoke about it in the last episode, I think. Do we want to do like ticket torches? Ticket torches like that? We've done that before over there. I think that makes sense. I don't want anything more fancy. Um, we actually have to wait until it gets night time to see how this how this works out. But uh, I think it's going to bring the whole jungle to a different level. Yeah, that's good. I like that. Let's do another one right there. I'm all over the place with, with uh, what I'm talking about and things today. I'm thinking, I'm sitting here and I'm thinking like, what haven't I said? What have I said? Um, you gotta, I gotta, I have to apologize if I'm a little bit rusty YouTube wise, I hope it's okay though. Um, it happens if you're if you're offline for for like a week. Um, I'm also a little bit rusty with like Minecraft and and stuff, but you know it's all good. It's all good. It's all coming back to me. Okay, let's just get a little bit of a feel here. Um, do we have any bone meal? We do. Good. Yeah, baby. Can you feel it? Maybe a bit too much yellow flowers going on, but definitely looking good. Let's do that and then another Tiki torch over there. <clears throat> I really hope that they add Tiki torches in vanilla Minecraft. It's such a simple thing that we could have so much use for. Um, also, I mean, this works, but it would be cool if they had real Tiki torches. You could just, the recipe could be like this, you know. I, I, I mean, 1.9 is, is done, so this would be for 1.10. I know a lot of people, a lot of my friends are saying that we need to see a builder's update now. And I agree. Give us a builder update, Mojang or Microsoft or who, whoever does the things, <laughs> does the decisions. Um, oh, yes, baby. Oh, that's, that's nice. Okay. Now, the question is, when we come to a sandy part of the island, and it's getting nighttime, so that's perfect. When we come to a sandy part of the island, do we want to... It's not too much sand though. I was thinking 
since this is a this isn't like a man-made road this is actually just where the pirates of the scallions have been running and that's why it's like coarse dirt so when we come to the sand do we want to make it a sandy road or do we want to make it a coarse dirt road i think that's a that's a good question and while this area is empty this is all going to be jungle right here by the way all the way up to these trees um okay but look at this oh my goodness just breathe look at this look at that little entrance that inviting thing into the jungle it's gorgeous okay let's walk it <laughs> let's walk it i don't know if we need so much more texture mixed into this i know that my good friend good times with scar uh, he likes to mix in a little bit of brown stained clay or carpets um, But I don't think it's needed actually for this here. Maybe we can go a little bit more with the whole spruce down there And maybe we want to make Some supports here. Can we do will this look weird? Yeah, that will look weird Maybe we'll leave that um, and if we do this, we have to have this as a full block so they connect. Hmm. Let's bring that up there. That could actually work. Just a, as a little support thing for the bridge, you know? Oh, I like it. I think it looks, it looks great. Can I get rid of these dang poppies? Boop. There we go. I think it looks beautiful. It's gorgeous. All right, I did a little bit more on this path. I brought it all the way up to Tortuga-ish. Um, I think we got to get this border in here where the jungle actually ends before we can finish this road. But I added a little bit of stony edge. Uh, we should overgrow them a little bit. Um, and some bushes and stuff. The only problem when you do the road before you have the area that the road goes through, like I've done this section here, is that you kind of... Without thinking about it, you kind of wrap the road in things because it looks better. Um, but the best way to make a road is to first make the biomizables and then make the road like this. It's hard, but it turns out beautiful. Look at this road. I love it. I think it's great. Um, yeah, also, there, there may, that was a weird pause. Um, some guys may be thinking, why are you doing so many things? Because I've been working in the in the peripheral as well. I've been adding things. And some people may say, why are you doing so much things where you're never gonna that you're never really gonna visit or see? They're just gonna be in the background. Well, if you're wondering that, it's because of that reason. It's gonna be in the background still. And I think it's gonna be important. And you know what? Let's try this. Let's add some of these. Um, I think it's it's gonna be important. Oops, boop. Can I get rid of something else? Uh, no. I think it's important that if you want to make a beautiful foreground, you have to have a background that makes it pop, if you know what I mean. Would it be weird to have, like, spots of this? And this would be, like, mushrooms. It's a complete different color, right? But the idea is that they will kind of bring interest into, the, into your peripheral. Let's have a look. If we would walk the road. I don't want too many if I want them. We kind of have one going on there, another one behind that bush. I like it. I saw Etho do this. He actually biome enhanced his uh, swamp, his starting swamp, and it looks absolutely gorgeous. Um, and it's it's funny that uh, to to see other people do the do the same thing as you're doing yourself in your own world, because um, it kind of brings inspiration. While this isn't a swamp, I would assume that there are mushrooms and things. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I like this road. <laughs> Say it again. Um, okay, so there are a lot of things that we gotta do here. We gotta bring the jungle all the way there. I gotta bring, or I gotta get some more jungle supplies, which is so painful to go to the jungle and chop down trees to get supplies. It's really boring. I did that a lot. The last days before I had to dream hack, like I think I spent eight hours getting the 64 supplies. Uh, well, not quite. I mean, I was, I was doing it pretty inefficiently. Like, I was watching, uh, watching a YouTube series on on uh, on my phone while uh, <laughs> while playing uh, Minecraft and chopping down trees, and then just standing there waiting. So I'm sure that I missed a lot of supplies, but it still takes time. It's kind of boring. 
Uh, I kind of want to take a break now from the from the jungle building, though, I think. Uh, I want to see what you guys think. Um, and I think for the next episode, we'll go and do something technical. I want to make a slime farm. But I also want to get villagers and village breeding going. I'm not sure. Oh, wow. Look at this fog thing there. <clears throat> so nice. Oh, I'm really excited about this. Um, yeah, I don't know what you guys would prefer, but a slime farm could be useful because then we could make like more slime machines and things. I'm very limited on slime balls at the moment. Uh, and I have found, let's actually end the episode by going over there. I can't sit this way. <clears throat> I have found some slime chunks on the island that are actually on the in the ocean. You remember how we built the prison where we kind of utilized the, uh, the biomes? But I cannot remember... Is it over on this edge? Wow, the island looks so different now from when I first spawned it in. Yeah, I think it's over here. Yeah, is this it? Like this is a this is an ocean biome where the grass has grow has grown or or a river biome. Uh, and I know I put a lot of torches. Yes, here it is. Okay, so I do have. I did this like before I started the series even. I dug out um, these three chunks here that are slime chunks. And those are all in the ocean biome. So we should be able to make like a, a triple slime farm thing. And this is what I've been doing when I've been needing slime uh, slime balls. And I'm using my looting three sword to kill the small guys. So this should bring me a lot of slime balls. Um, but maybe next time we'll make a proper farm. I'm not sure though. Like, now that I think about it, this what I've been doing, it's actually giving me a lot of slime balls. So I could just do this whenever I need slime. How many did we get? More than a stack. Wow. Okay. Boop. 64 plus 2. That's amazing. Uh, but we do have the opportunity to do that here anyway. Uh, let me know what you want to see, though. Do we, do we work maybe some on Tortuga, or do we go technical and build a slime farm uh, there are also other farms that i feel that we really want to that i really want to get done like uh, obviously the cow farm eventually that's going to be completely automatic but for that we need to cover the entire entire mushroom island into grass or sand or remove all this this stuff uh oops my my mouse stopped working again dang it and we're back Whew. yeah i talked about that in survival stories 3 uh, since I came home from DreamHack, my mouse just weirdly stops working. And you have to unplug and plug it in. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you want to see. I will in between episodes surely do a little bit more in the jungle. Maybe get some more supplies. Thank you so much for watching and, and I'm so happy to be back. I missed you guys. I missed you so much. I'm very happy to, to be back to Minecraft. And and uh, the schedule on the YouTube channel should be back to normal now as well. So more videos than, than what we saw in November. I had so much work to do and preparation and things. But now it should be back to normal until Christmas anyway. Uh, Anyway, if you liked the video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, please do subscribe. And I will see you in the next episode.